So I've had a couple of questions. How do you stream to Facebook without it being a gaming page? And it's actually quite easy if you're going to do it through Streamlabs. And I'll guide you through really, really simply. I hope you can follow along. I do apologize if the audio keeps cutting out. I do seem to have technical issues with my microphone. It's starting to be a bit of a... Anyway. So this is your basic page. This is not a gaming page. This is just your normal standard page. It is a page, not a profile. It is a page. Where do we go from here, right? So there's no content on this. There's no videos, there's nothing, just a couple of pictures. I use this page for testing. So first things first, at the top bar, you've got create a studio. Click on create a studio. It brings us up this. Then you want to go over here towards the right hand side. You've got to go live. You want to click on go live. Now, if this is your first time, it'll throw up a load of options. Don't panic. Really don't panic. It'll ask you to how you want to stream and basically you want to click on use stream key click that and then what you then want to do is where it says get started use a persistent stream key check that box and the reason why we want to check that box is because well facebook does this thing where a stream key is basically like your password from streamlabs to facebook if you use a persistent stream key it means that Streamlabs saves your information and you can click go live and you will always go live to your page. If you don't have it checked, every time you try and stream, it'll fail because Facebook has changed the password. So if you have unchecked, I'll tell you all this information here, you'll be able to stream today. Come back tomorrow, you try and stream, it won't work because the password has changed. Have that box checked, put this information in that we're gonna to do today be able to stream today, finish the stream, come back tomorrow, start stream, and it will go smoothly as anything. That's what the persistent stream key is all about, and it's pretty important, really. So, what do we do with here, then? So with this, we need to go into our Streamlabs settings. If you don't know where that is, it's the little cog on the bottom left of your main Streamlabs thing. And it will bring up this bar. Then you need to go to Stream, and then you want to use Custom Ingest. Then you need to Stream Type, is to custom server settings, custom streaming server even. This is where we put the information from Facebook into Streamlabs. So you see where it says URL? We then copy the URL boom, and put the URL into Streamlabs. Stream key, I will blur my stream key out. You won't be able to see it because your stream key, like I say, is your password, it's your important information. So you take your stream key, copy it from Facebook, put it into Streamlabs, and then we click done. Now, if you look at this little right hand thing here, I'll make this nice and big for us. There we go. So I haven't done anything yet on Streamlabs. I've just put all that information in and then I have clicked done. OK, so now I'm going to click go live. You've got to trust me on this. I know you can't see it, but you've got to trust me. If I click go live, the only thing that now pops up, it says, are you sure you want to start streaming? And then I just click OK. And now if we wait, whoa, it's taking its time to catch up. But we are there, actually. Look, I'll just show you. I will just throw in my camera, make it nice and small so you can see it. There we go, right in the middle. <laughs> but you can see, obviously, that we're here and the page is also, so the mouse is circling around the, the raw on the left hand side. And I'm also waving at you. There is a bit of a delay and it is quite unnerving, but still at this minute, we're still not live. So then what you need to do is if you look down your menu on the left hand side, this is all your information. It tells you where you're going to share it to. Share your timeline to a page you manage or into a group. Obviously, if you're doing something for a page, you want to share it to that page. And then underneath that will tell you which page to share to. Then underneath that is all your information. So your title of the video and then the kind of a description box, if you like, posting options. And then obviously you have your go live. And when you click go live, you will go live to your page and you'll start chatting to your audience or do what you want to do. It is literally that simple. Um, I hope that helped. It was really, really that simple, that easy. Um, thank you for asking. I'm glad that I could help, hopefully anyway, because that's something that was, for me was quite easy to just guide you guys through. Hopefully the audio didn't cut out. I wasn't able to monitor my audio at the same time as doing all that stuff. But I hope I've done my best for you guys. I hope it works. Best of luck, uh, all the best, and stay safe. Cheers. See you in a bit. Bye.
So I just wanted to say a massive thank you very much for dropping by and watching the video. As always, I should imagine YouTube is going to throw a little video up here somewhere that it thinks that you want to watch. In fact, like, if you'd like to drop a subscription to me, that'd be great. You could just click my little face up here somewhere. That'd be fantastic. And I hope to see you again for now. Peace. Have a good one.